the the first thing that the men have to recognize, and uh, and and because this is not any kind of a self flagellation, uh, feely touchy way, but that we all are capable of rape. I don't mean that necessarily uh, snatching somebody off the streets and two in the morning, a total stranger. But every man is in more than one time in their life uh, is in a situation where they think they're going to get some. They think that they do some. They think they've been promised some. In, in a lot of men's minds, that there is this point of no return. Um, and, and each man, I mean, everybody doesn't pinpoint that point the same way. I mean, it, it could, for some, it's, it's when they get to the hotel room, if it's a hotel. For some, it's when they get into the shower together. For some, it's when they uh, start doing it. Well, that's for all of us, then, by and large, when they start doing it. Uh, but 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 this point of no return kind of a uh, kind of a uh, uh, posture. So that the thing that I tell my son and I and I raise with other men and and I would argue by the way that it's not until we do it. I mean, no man gonna listen to a woman about the, about this issue. I mean, there may, may be some intellectual agreement because it's hard to argue against it. But at a visceral level, that like men don't. To listen to women about this kind of stuff as far as I'm concerned. You have to remember that in our prison system today, most of the uh, prisons where, where women are housed are prisons that have been um, designed by men, uh, are um, built by men, and were designed for men, and are run by men. So the majority of prison guards, even in facilities where women are housed, are male uh, prison guards and uh, by and large they treat it as their right to have ac absolute, absolute control and power over women. And so it's not unusual not only for guards to be involved in uh, sexual abuse against women, but also it's not unusual for them not to be taken to task either administratively or criminally. Well, I think uh, religion uh, has been uh, less kind to women than women have been to religion. I mean, women have always been supporters of religious traditions. And when you look at any of the religious traditions, uh, in most, if not every instance that I know of, religion has sanctioned the oppression of women. So it's a double-edged sword in a lot of ways because certainly, uh, for the African-American community, the religion, particularly Christianity, as we developed it, uh, is without question in my mind one of the most important factors in the psychological um, salvation of our people because what was done to us, what we uh, underwent during slavery uh, if we had not developed a Christianity that spoke to our needs in the way that it did, I think that uh, we would have been devastated by the evil of slavery. Another popular myth about rape is that women, for the most part, lie about rape. In fact, that most women lie about rape, that only a few women have been raped. Well, first of all, rape is a very, very common occurrence. and. FBI statistics, which are very conservative, they're the most conservative statistics that we have about rape. And FBI statistics suggest that rape is, uh, is not uh, a crime where people are any more falsely accused than any other felonies. And that percent is around 2%. So only about 2% of rapes are rapes that are, include fraudulent charges. And again, that is no more than the fraudulent charges for other felonies. Uh, such as for the felony crimes, such as, um, you know, robbery, uh, those kinds of things. So the idea is that most women indeed are telling the truth about rape. And in fact, most rapes are still going unreported. So usually when a woman does step out there, for the most part, you have a greater chance of believing that she's telling the truth than that she's lying. The, the like whole notion of how you dress. I mean, if you like to show off your legs and your butt and your breasts, so be it. That's your prerogative. I mean, uh, people might make judgments about it, may not like it, may talk about it, but but the the if that is a a, a sin, clearly rape is not the resolution.